work you read, your poetry, um, dealt with family history, but again, I felt like it had a lot of humor in it, um, and it felt uh, very linked to music. Mm -hmm. um, and as you were reading, there seemed to be a very performative aspect to it. At points you sang, um, you moved your body, um, and now you have this manuscript, church music, and you're sending it out uh, into the world as words on a page. How do you imagine the reader uh, experiencing or encountering those words on a page without your body present? I think about that all the time, and I, I just pray that the poems work. Some of the poems I know work, but some of them I think, maybe this poem kind of falls flat if I'm not, you know, if I'm not actually there putting the cadences and the rhythms to it. And, you know, I'm sending it to other readers to get their feedback. There are definitely a couple of poems that we pulled from the manuscript. I asked some of my um, poet friends to read it. And they're great performance poems, but they just don't work on paper. And I, I know that this is something that a lot of performative poets struggle with. How do you make the poems work just on the page within your absence? So, you know, it's something I think about a lot, and I just, that's where, you know, craft comes in, and I have to really um, go back to, you know, my teachers, many of them from Cave Cottom, and I think of someone like Sonia Sanchez, who's such an amazing performer, but the poems also hold their own on the page, and so just learning from those examples, mm -hmm. and I, you know, I trust that it will, it will all work. <laughs> What does it take for the poems to work by themselves on the page for you? Um, I think there has to be a clarity of a voice for one and then I, I'd like to pay a lot of attention to the break of the line and I, I'm trying to think which, um, I can't remember who said it, it might have been Toy Derricott. Someone said the poem should contain instructions for reading the poem within the poem. Mm -hmm. So the reader should like immediately have a sense of how to approach this poem and you kind of give them an instruction manual and that comes through I think you know the, all of the sort of sonic literary devices so your alliteration and your your assonance and and how you know because you can you can create a poem that rolls in circles and it, it tumbles forward or you can create a poem one of the poems I read yesterday um, was written, um, I guess, in homage to Troy Davis, and it has very short line breaks, and they're very hard, and they're they're you know two words, one word, and it's very staccato, and I feel like it it's it has clear instructions for how you're supposed to read it because there's a double reading, the words often have um, so he he's saying I'm having a hard time, but he's also doing hard time in jail, so these short phrases should give you a sensibility so that you, you understand that those double meanings are in there. Mm -hmm. And then there are other poems that, you know, with longer lines that I feel like they're, they're rolling and they're more of a someone telling a story, you know, that, that back porch sort of storytelling, um, you know, cadence. So I do really try through, through the crafting of the poem, the language, the line breaks, to give the reader a, a sensibility of the speaker. I wanted to ask um, about the relationship between the different genres you work in. The first poem you read had time signatures. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, there, there are so many references to bodies in the poems um, that you read last night. Um, and also, um, I'm trying to remember the poem where uh, Someone is as tender as ribs falling off a bone. Um, oh yeah, that's agape. Agape um, that was in nocturnes, I believe. Mm -hmm. That was in nocturnes, um, and which makes me think of dance. Um, and so you've got dance, your uh, performance artist, poetry. Are these sort of separate silos, or are there relationships? Do they inform one another? How do your different practices work together? For me, they, they all inform each other, and, but everything comes out of writing, even the dance. And even, you know, writing is the very first sort of artistic uh, form that I engaged with. So from, you know, age six, seven, eight years old, I started writing. 
And even, you know, when I started studying dance, I thought it was so interesting. When you uh, work with a new choreographer, the first thing you do is learn the vocabulary. Hmm. So we're going to go over some vocabulary. You know, and then when we put movements together, that's a phrase. So I thought, oh, this is the same as writing. You know, I have vocabulary and I have phrases, and then I put those phrases together, and then that makes the dance. So that, to me, very early, I was like, oh, I see, I'm, I'm, dance, I'm, I'm writing with the body. So that, I would say, just informs everything that I do. And then music, I love to do um, poetry with jazz, and there's a long tradition of that, you know, going back to Langston Hughes and maybe even before, and then you have people like Jane Cortez. And so I love to perform with a live jazz band and to think musically, you know, and some of my poems, I, in my mind, they have a soundtrack. <laughs> it's not in the book, <laughs> but there, you know, there's, a, there's conga drums with this poem. There's, you know, there's a saxophone with this poem. Um, and then also, yeah, again, the, the movement. So absolutely, music, dance, poetry, performance, they're, they're all related. So what's next for you? You have this manuscript, you're sending it out. Are you working on any new performance pieces or new dance pieces? All of those. <laughs> <laughs> all of the above. I mean, I, I feel like, um, I guess what's really new and next for me is that I'm through the performance work, it's pulling me toward the visual art world. And so... Um, out of the performances are coming video art pieces and even um, photography pieces, which is really exciting. And then it's also daunting because I'm in these settings where I just don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, okay, I'm starting from scratch here. Yeah. You know, so it's sort of like being a young kid again, but with, I guess, a stronger aesthetic. <laughs>